Hey guys and welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I posted. Last thing I posted was the open and it was just 20.5. Last year I did 19.5 only posted. Yeah. This year I did 20.5 only. But it's like a <laughs> recurring theme I have, but it's really cool to be back. Thank you for watching this video. We are going to be posting more frequently on this channel. Um, I did not want to just put out videos without any purpose or reason behind them. And I felt like they kind of just became that. But we've revamped. We're revamped, we're both here. Yeah, and we want to um, we want to make content that is valuable, that you guys can learn from, but also some that we can look back and kind of document our marriage, document our fitness, document just life in general. Yep. A little bit of everything. All centered around living the healthiest life we can whether that is physical, spiritual, emotional, mental, just focusing on all of it, how can we live the healthiest life, which doesn't mean we're gonna be health nuts. It's yeah. balance, it's balance yeah. between all four of those. So we're really excited for what we're gonna do, but for this video now, on my Instagram I asked you guys to just ask us, like, do you have any questions for us? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna answer them. Yeah. But before that, let's show you a workout we did just, just yesterday. I don't really. Have you looked at them? Not really. Okay. I mean, I've looked at them because they've been in my notifications, but I haven't like... Okay. Okay, so the first one, which is a question that we've been told we're going to hear all the time. Okay. When do you plan on having children? We haven't even been married four months yet, and we have gotten that question so much. <laughs> we're going to spend some time enjoying us. Yeah. As a, as a couple, as a married couple, before we bring some other glad <laughs> we're just gonna kind of experience us get to know each other but not too long it won't be like a 10 year thing no but not right away either what has been the most unexpected challenge of living with your new wife and brother so us oh. um i would say that remembering that we're, like even though we outnumber him mm -hmm. remembering that he has just an equal stake in the house and the direction we want to go and what we're watching on tv and what we're doing, like being sure that he, his voice is valid and matters. And it's not like 66% 33, yeah. but like 50, 50. That's been, yeah. I think the biggest challenge. What's a quirk about Sam that you love? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> I don't know if it's a quirk, but I just like that you're uh, willing to help anyone at any point always. Like that's your thing. You just like helping people. I do. And you like thinking of other people and so it's pretty cool. Thanks. How did you guys know each other was the one? How did you know? I asked you first. Um, I would say that I just liked thinking about life with you. Like I, I was thinking about, okay, what's the worst thing about you? Can I live with that? Yes. Okay. You know? And so it's like, once you see the worst in someone or recognize the worst and think like, I could do this, like, all right, then go for it. I, I also don't really believe in the one, so that's another thing. How did you know I was the one? Well, when we first started talking, we were talking for a while before we started dating. And then we started dating, and I was telling him, I was like, I don't really wanna get married for a long time. And then all of a sudden, I was just like, I like this guy. I kinda wanna get married. I kinda wanna spend the rest of my life with him. And it was just like this feeling that all of a sudden came. And well. it hasn't left. <laughs> What's something that you've learned about me since getting married? So we spend a lot of time together. And now that we're married, we live together, we're together even more. And Jean's an introvert. He's an introvert that extroverts well, but I realize he needs introvert time. And like, I don't. Like I could be with people 24 seven and I like it and I get my energy from that. But it wears him down. 
So I've learned that it's okay if he needs to go to a coffee shop and just have some introvert time. One thing I've learned about you is that you're very close to your family, but it's not like, you'll call me first, but you'll, t you'll talk to me for like two minutes. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll be like, okay, now I gotta call my family and you'll talk to them for like 20 minutes. Yeah, it's true. And so it's like, and that's just, I'm not, I'm not like a, no way, oh my goodness, they <laughs> said what? Where I'm just like, okay, that's kinda cool. I, I need like, a little bit you're of like, that. Okay, I need to talk to my mom now. Okay, <laughs> okay bye. Did you guys do premarital counseling? If so, what was that like? We did. And it was so much fun. Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad we did it. We did like this thing called Simbus. Pretty Save well. your marriage before it starts. Yeah. Simbus. And it's like a personality test that you take individually and then you come together with a mediator, whoever's doing your counseling, and you go through all the answers and stuff. And it said we were highly compatible. But I would recommend that for anybody because it just goes through everything that may become an issue or things you should discuss and things like that. And I thought that was really helpful. Yeah, and I think premarital counseling can be a lot of fun if you're good for each other. Yeah. And it can be literally hell if yeah. you're in a relationship that you shouldn't be in. So it's kind of like... It's eye-opening. Yeah. But nothing should be too big of a surprise. Yeah, exactly. Which it was fine for us. Okay, another question was, is Sam going to do the Spartan Sprint too? And yes, I am. I'm really excited because I've always wanted to do a Spartan race, but they're, the ones that are near us are usually about like an hour away and they're always in January and that's my birthday month. And we're usually doing something. And so I'm like, that's the only one. I don't really want to travel far. And then, so this one is in San Diego and I'm just so excited for it. And it's a city sprint? Yeah. Which is different. Apparently. Yeah, so the regular wow. Spartan races are like in like the dirt and trails and stuff and this one's on the city so it's gonna be more on pavement, which I'm excited about because I feel like we'll get less dirty. And I don't really <laughs> want to get dirty. Okay, so another question from Amelia. Might be a weird question, but how did planning the wedding meal go related to Sam's diabetes? I don't think it changed. It didn't change. Like we did the wedding tasting. Well, Jean didn't go. I went with my family. <laughs> what? I chose the food. Oh, you, you didn't go. yeah, I didn't go. Yeah. And anyway, we just chose what tasted best. I was there for the cake, though. Yeah, the cake. That tasting. was what mattered. That's that what I thought you were talking about. Um, but for the meal, it was basically a buffet. So we chose like prime rib and chicken. It was like potatoes, a vegetable, and salad. And I probably ate like three baby carrots and a couple pieces of a tri-tip. Like there was no time really to eat. And I just wanted people to like enjoy their meal. So we got so many compliments on the food though. So it didn't really affect me. I didn't really eat anything crazy. So my blood sugar was really perfect the day of the wedding. Biggest thing that I cared about was that it was a buffet and not uh, serving plates. So that was his one, he had two requests for the wedding. One, that food be a buffet. Mm -hmm. And two. Yeah, the dance floor would be popping. Yeah. And it. I just wanted there to be a lot of food and, and people things. dancing and both things happened. Yeah. It was fun. How has the first part of your marriage been? It looks like it has been a dream. It has been so much fun. <laughs> Is what we show you on social media. What? Well, we don't. It's been fun. Okay, it has been fun, but it kind of has been. It's been hard. A lot. <laughs> yeah, like yesterday we were fighting with each other and crying and angry at each other and it was over really tiny things. Yeah, yeah, true. But it's like... But I don't know why. Like, I think it's just maneuvering being together all the time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think a big thing is, like, I, I don't know, we're newlyweds. I can't give advice, but yeah. I try to make a point to... Even if I don't understand her side or where she's coming from or why you're crying, it's still valid. You know, like even if I don't even agree with it, it's still valid because it's it's it, creating an emotion out of you. Yeah. And that alone is enough for, should be enough for me to stop and be like, okay, why are you thinking like this? What's yeah. going on? What am I doing? And then try to go through yeah. it. So it's not like, for the, overall it's easy, but like mm -hmm. the day to days, there's challenges in there. Yeah. But like looking back on it, it's way worth it. Yeah. So far. <laughs> uh, another question is, is Sam involved in ministry as well? AKA volunteering. 
And yes, I volunteer at our church. I volunteer in the kids ministry. So I'm either working with kindergartners, first graders, or second graders, and it's so much fun. Like literally in like between services, I'll be in the lobby and I'll just have a million little kids running up and hugging my legs. And I'm like, which one <laughs> is it? And I'm like, oh, hey. So yeah, it's really fun. I just started CrossFit and it's brutal. How do you keep being motivated? It sucks being last. Um, I would say that one, um, if you're always last, maybe it's time to think about some scales you can do mm -hmm. so that you're finishing around the same people, around the same time as people. Um, Which is okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like if everyone's doing pull-ups and you don't have pull-ups yet, so it's taking you 15 minutes to do five pull-ups, you're not getting the workout in that you should be getting in. Yeah. So maybe do some form of scale, whether it be putting some bands on it. Maybe it's doing jumping pull-ups with like a slow negative, maybe, or as slow as you can. Maybe it's um, doing some ring rows. Like there are ways to substitute a workout that you still get a sweat, you still get a workout, you still get stronger. Um, it may not look the same as someone else's, but you're getting the same workout out of it. And even if it's like a workout where you're like, oh, I can do that RX or something. Like I can do that movement once yeah. and there's 15 of them in the workout. Like sometimes if a workout has a lot of handstand pushups, I can do them. I just can't do a lot of them. And so I'll either do like say it's 20 in a workout each round. I'll be like, oh, I'm going to do five handstand pushups and the rest I'll do deficit pushups. So I'm still getting a good workout, but I'm still working on that skill. Someone asked how, what are we doing to incorporate God into our marriage? Um, and I feel like it's always something you can do better at, mm -hmm. um, but we're pretty, we pray a lot together about things, about days, about situations. We're just kind of bringing it up to God. Um, we try to make it a priority to journal, to yeah. read. You're always telling me a Bible verse every day. <laughs> yeah, I know. And asking if I can guess what book of the Bible it's in. Um, and I think it helps that we go to church already together and that we were trying to incorporate God into our relationship prior to marriage. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just, you need to focus on that every day and see what you can add and incorporate. Yeah. And like, I can dig deep into like a heady theological book um, that really is going to be like, this is awesome. And if I'm like forcing you to go through that book with me, you're going to be like, I'm not interested. I don't care. <laughs> yeah but you would love to listen to a girl wash your face. <laughs> yeah. And so it's like, and they're both good. Not one of them is better, but like to be okay having our own thing as long as we have something that's bringing us together. Whether that's maybe we'll spend 20 minutes, we'll put like a 20 minute timer on the clock. And we'll yeah. say, we're gonna read for the next 20 minutes. I'm reading my thing, she's reading her thing, but we're together reading. Yeah. Then we can talk about it I like and go from there. That. I know that that's, I like that a lot too. Next question. What's more beautiful, Sam? Or Chipotle. I bleed the fifth. <laughs> what? <laughs> this one coming from Big Mike. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, if you can Shout follow us Mark. both on MySpace. Yes, add me. I'll put you on my top eight. Are you guys wanting to get a pet? If so, what kind? Okay, this is the touchy subject. Because <laughs> I love dogs. I'm, I'm more I, I of a like dog dogs. man than I am anything else. Like We're not allowed to have dogs in this place. So yeah. I'm thinking like, well, I still want an animal. So I'll just get a cat. And no one's really like against it, but no one's really for it. We run into a friend yes. who has a corgi. And I like cats. I like dogs. I wouldn't call myself an animal lover, but I love all animals. I fell in love with this corgi. Like I need a corgi in my life. Literally we're at our friend's house playing games and I couldn't even focus because I'm just loving on the corgi and I need one. So now anytime we go out, she sees a corgi and it's like everything falls apart. Everything falls apart. I don't know what happened. This has never happened to me before. So I used to have an Australian Shepherd. I would love another Australian Shepherd. I let like them. So but corgi. So I'm hoping that one day we'll have a corgi and an Australian Shepherd. Yeah. Because I feel like if you have a dog, it's good to have two dogs and they get to play together. Yeah. I want to save a corgi because our friend's friend who had the corgi got it from the Humane Society. Oh yeah, we'll get yeah we'll get a rescue for yeah. both for both dogs. That's not yeah, even yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, but it's like corgis are so popular that it's gonna be hard to find. Yeah. And I will find you and I will love you. Yeah. Okay, um, last question. Wondering if after the QA, will you be doing more vids? I enjoy your unique perspective on life. Hmm, that's nice. Yes, we will be. That is a yes. plan. We have a goal, we have a reason, we have a thing to execute. We're gonna execute it. And we always like including workout videos because we work out together every day. 
almost every day. I think that's like a, that's a relationship hack. Like working out with your yeah. significant other, your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, like there's something there. About, yeah. and I know like everyone's schedule doesn't work like that, but like it's not super convenient for the time that we do it together, but it's like a yeah. priority to us. So we do it. Yeah. And I think that's like a huge relationship hack is working out together. But anyway, what are you saying? Oh yeah. So I, I think we, most videos are going to have like a workout. Um, we have a few ideas for videos, but if you have any suggestions or anything you want to see, you can comment below. Mm-hmm. And um, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to, you know, give it a little like it. Give, give it a, a little, little comment. A little subscriber. Yeah. And uh, we will catch you guys in the next one.